all the way up, unless it's really cold. <laughs> but this is Colleen style. <laughs> this is how I wear it. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee, and on my channel you'll find lots and lots of sewing techniques, refashioning of old or even new clothing. And I also do a segment where I show you garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn. And if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So this is what I will be refashioning, this gorgeous cardigan, asymmetrical cardigan. Yeah, you can tell the reason why I was drawn to this because it's asymmetrical. And um, this color, the only problem it is, it's a gorgeous color and I don't think I would have refashioned it if this wasn't the issue. Da -da! <laughs> yeah, it, there's, um, it doesn't seem as though there's actually been a lot of wear on this. Um, so I was quite surprised when I actually saw the patches at the elbow. And yeah, it seems to be pretty much, well it is in very good condition. And there's not a lot of um, bubbling that's happening with the wall. And yeah, so let me just show you, there is a lot of wear at the elbow. So let me just show you. see how much wear there is at the elbow there and so it means I have to cut it so I am going to be cutting it shorter I mean I could have the option of actually putting um, some elbow protections on <laughs> that side maybe yeah I have that option but I don't want to do that so I've decided that I'm going to cut the sleeves short so that is what we're going to do and also, I don't like the buttons. So, I've got an option, I've got two options. I can either do some cover buttons with what's left from this. It may be a very difficult task to do because it's quite thick. Or I've got these buttons here, these shank buttons, um, which I prefer rather than the flat buttons where you can see how many holes is, this has got four holes in it and I prefer this button but the problem yeah another problem <laughs> the problem is I've only got four and I need six but this is Colleen's world so I'll make four work for my for my refashion so let's see first I'm going to cut the sleeves and then I'm going to attempt to cover the buttons and I do have a video tutorial on how to cover buttons and I'll put a link to that tutorial below so yeah we're gonna to have to chop these sleeves off so that's coming up next the supplies you're going to need are going to be a pair of scissors some thread hand sewing needle pins buttons I've got two here I've got these buttons which are shank buttons and I've only got four and I need six but I'm going to make it work and I've got cover buttons this is what I prefer though if I can get the thickness to fit into the cover button then that will be the option that I'll go for and this is going to be the second option so I have to judge where I'm actually going to cut because these patches are not even on both sides as you can see ends there ends there so it starts there so I'm going to go for this one because this one is higher so I'm going to cut away this and then I'll work on the other one so get this as flat as possible I'm just going to cut straight down Okay, that's now pinned in place. Get my scissors and cut. Okay, that's the other one. Set that aside. Nicely cut. Remove the pins. Okay, that's okay. The next thing I need to do, actually I'm gonna put this aside for a moment. Let's see if I can cover these buttons. 
Okay. So let's open up one side of these sleeves. Okay. Going to just roughly cut a square out here. And cut around this in a circular shape. Like so. This may actually work. Yeah, I think it might work actually. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. I do have a video tutorial and I'll put a link to how to cover buttons in the description. The buttons are now covered. Very successful. Now all I need to do then is to remove these buttons. Okay, all the buttons are now removed. And you can see where the indentations are for where the other buttons were. And it will just be a case of me sewing these into that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. All being the same colour. It's going to be really nice. Sewing all these into place by hand. And for the sleeves, it will be a case of just turning it back like so. If you wish, you can overlock the raw edge and it will be a case of putting some pins in all the way around to make sure it's all even and I'm going to be doing a herringbone stitch keep that in place. So I've got some hand sewing that I need to do now and once I've done my hand sewing I'll come back to you and obviously I will show you the results. I do have a link in the description for the herringbone hand stitch and how to sew on buttons as well. So I'll leave that link below. The buttons are now on, they're sewn on securely. And I've also sewn the sleeves. Let me just show you on the... Herringbone stitch, very good match of thread. And now it's time for me to try this on. This is looking gorgeous. Oh, the change of button makes a huge difference. Sleeves. Yeah, I'm happy with that. The buttons. This is how I wear it. I wouldn't put it all, all the way up. Unless it's really cold. <laughs> but this is Colleen style. <laughs> this is how I wear it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, asymmetrical. Yeah, cute little pockets. Yes, yeah, cute little top. Easy, refashioning. Has a new look, a new life, and will live in my wardrobe for some time to come. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. And if you've been watching my channel for some time and haven't subscribed yet, then yeah, maybe now is the time. And I will see you next time.